Well, it is one of the most eagerly awaited dates on the European Hello, sporting calendar, perhaps the European Hatch. calendar as a whole. Portugal it's no doubt the greatest Czech festival Republic. of sport that the continent has to offer, and it must be said the atmosphere could not be any more fitting. Kaleidoscopic colour, pride, hope, expectation. There's the hit! It's loose and there's a race for the ball. Portugal would very much seem to be growing their confidence here. You can feel it. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, Peter, this guy, Ruben Diaz, has been a revelation. I'd say his, his two strengths are the aggression with which he leads the defensive line and the awareness that never seems to fail him. That makes him a very stern test for any opposition attacker here. Well, quite no argument for me on that one. Ruben Diaz gets a foot in here. Cristiano Ronaldo played out to the left flank. Well, that defending is unapologetically persistent. It's almost personal, and it had to be. Oh, what a ball! Real chance! Goal! Portugal! And Portugal score first! Just so calm under pressure, and he managed to fashion a fine finish. Well, I think that defence there thought they were in good position, and they had him where they wanted, yet somehow he's worked the scoring position when it didn't seem on. It's really crafty business, that. Portugal break the deadlock. Well, I guess this ought to make things interesting, Peter. No doubt the opposition will now be forced to play a, a more open and riskier game. And the counter is on. Oh, and he's through the middle. Well, that is good. Super. It's Cristiano Ronaldo! Denied by an instinctive save. I think he's done great there, both reading it and dealing with it. Half an hour played now. And if you have just joined us, still just one goal between them. 1-0 the score. Shapes to shoot! Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Really was just waiting to pounce on any slip-up, and he was gifted a chance. There's a defensive height advantage here, Peter, but, of course, it's it's not guaranteed to work. Yeah, they need to be thinking in terms of... And the shot! It's run loose, who's going to... Now the finish! Oh, denied! Brilliantly! Bernardo Silva is offering a wry smile there. Portugal have their second corner now. Cleared away. The Czech Republic can counter properly here. Engages and forces him off the ball. Now it's Cristiano Ronaldo. Into the final five minutes of the first half. They've got to make this nice and quick. He's picked his way through. Bernardo Silva, Ronaldo, who does have an assist to his name. Time. Bruno Fernandes. Now it's Cristiano. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, that was no routine save. That's very... And the first half is done. So there we are, half-time. Both teams head into their respective dressing room. And while there was a genuine flow about the game, most importantly, there has been just one telling moment. It is still very tight here. The game still up for grabs. And the half-time score, 1-0. How's the first half compared with your expectation? Well, I think the scoreline offers a fair reflection of the level of endeavour from both teams. I think they lead because they did most of the probing. A little more penetration, I think, should help them get the job done. Portugal, the happier of the teams, heading in for half-time, 1-0 up.
And the game has already resumed here. Well, 1-0 may be good enough, so they may err on the side of caution and, and get more players behind the ball instead of running beyond it. They could even try to, to spoil it from here, we'll see. And it's been... And Bernardo Silva! And that's caused the worry or two. Corner number three coming up. Vitinha. Oh, he's in! Big chance! It's in! A two-goal lead, and they're firmly in control. Perhaps deserves a little bit of sympathy here, because that's a goalkeeper's nightmare. It's, it's clear that the keeper was unsighted by his defence, and by the time he picked up the flight of that, it was too late. Both sides then taking this chance to turn to their benches. So that's two now without reply. Well, that second goal has given them so much more command and confidence now, and they should be able to take it on from here and either add to the lead or, or close it out. Surely they'll manage one or the other. Really has the confidence and skill to be able to hold the ball up like that until support arrives a little sooner. He's had a shot! And it's played forward. A lot of space here, a real opportunity. Nuno Mendes. Well, the defence proved infallible then. But that won't be the last they'll see of him. And it's Bernardo Silva. Picked out, has a goal! In for the follow-up! Early ball out from the back. Cristiano Ronaldo! Oh, he's fisted it forward. Portugal have time on their side now, as well as a two-goal lead. It is just about done. Great hit! And no, he couldn't find the finish. It's a good display of fighting spirit for me. Substitution for Portugal, number 14, João Félix, number 8, Bernardo Silva, number 9, Bruno Fernandes, number 10, Cristiano Ronaldo, coming on the field, number 11, Rafael Jota, Lino. unable to make number it happen 15, for all his good intentions. Number 27, number 21. And into the grateful arms of the keeper. There will be three minutes at a time. Ricardo Orta. Had a time going up here. It's three minutes. Spread it left. Ricardo Orta. He's going for goal. Move. Close, but time for no more. The whistle has gone. Portugal achieve exactly what they wanted on opening day. Three precious points on a traditionally testing occasion, and things are looking pretty good. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what we've seen? Well, pressure can quickly build on you if a positive result isn't achieved in your opening group.